Hi, I'm learning uh, Touch of Grey and I thought I'd uh, pass on a couple of things. Uh, often for me, the only thing I want to see, because I know how to play songs kind of, is I just kind of want to see where the riffs and where the, you know, special chords are. So here's some thoughts on Touch of Grey. I start off in the E playing, you know, this form of the E with the, uh, you know, these three fingers leaving the pointy finger going so that I can flatten it out and then just go up two frets. So that's the E and A and the B and F sharp. Then the verse starts with B. So it's, it's, you know, this, this whole, this square um, is the thing that shows up a lot of times, like the, in Tennessee Jet, you know, you have this kind of little square of chords going up and down. So in this same one, it, it, it's cycling through them, you know. slides down to the A. So it's got that nice, it's up in the B and it goes. So that's the A, B, F sharp, B, F sharp, B, B back to the beginning. Um, so um, the, uh, in the I will get the buys, I will has this that one riff so that's on the second string the five four two and then on the third string four three and you see that's part of the chord So the final note of it is actually the strum of the chord. The other riff is the... So that's a... So it's the fourth uh, of the, the uh, low E. Uh, with the pinky, so you have open, two, and that's open again. One, two, three, and then, you know, two, three, four on the frets.
chords, often when you see the tab, they kind of uh, barely touch what's really going on here. So this is a C, a C um, sharp seven. C, C sharp minor seven, sorry. So it's basically, those are the two notes that are being hit and then the bars. Are, and then it's gonna go right over here to the um, C sharp seven, okay? Now this is a form, this, that's gonna be used a lot in this song. This, and you can either see it as a... Now, if when, we, when we do a, a C, and add that pinky on there, it's a seven. We tend to think of it from the... And then we're adding on a pinky. But the other way to feel it is to feel the strength of the hold of these two notes, the note between them, and then this just falls naturally into place. Of. It's a very comfortable chord to hold in the hand. It's not some kind of weird stretch, so it's... That's just an F. So, the um, C sharp minor seven, C sharp seven, F sharp, that's twice. That's just a little... And I'm just kind of doing that by flattening that. And then. G sharp minor, which is just a regular G sharp minor. And then that form again, but now this is the D sharp seven. Then we drop down to the C sharp seven sharp and then the the form of that which is the B7 B e, and then F so it seems like a lot of chords but it's basically So the only other thing to talk about in this is this that's just finger picking through the the uh, that's that kind of gives the the heart of it you understand where it came from so he's doing this So, um, just if you're noodling around, just realize that this... kind of gives you the feeling of... That that's the heart of this.
So that uh, gives you a little bit to work on. Um, you know, the, the fun parts for me are this. You know, that, that whole suite, you know, it goes. Drops one pick, I'll grab another. The other fun part is, of course, the. That part's really fun. Um, this whole first part. If there's a bass player, they're going. How's it go? There's a little, some of those, you know, because the song is so repetitive in this. Uh, there's some of those little uh, flourishes that he generates some energy with. So, anyway, again, I'm just learning the song today and uh, got excited and I haven't put up a video for a while, so... Uh, here's some touch of gray and hopefully that's uh, of some help and again if you ever have a question of something that you saw but didn't understand or need some elaboration on uh, uh, comment under the uh, YouTube thing and uh, I'll get back to you. Bye now.